So online video and live video right now is the best way to build your influence online, period. I believe that. What about blogging? It's great. What about audio? These are really important platforms, but video is absolutely king. The stats show it. But one of the biggest questions I get is what camera do I need to get started? And so we're going to go through four different kits. These are, this is what I use. This is what we use in our business, our brand, and we use a lot of video. So we'll talk about smartphone video kit. We'll talk about a live streaming kit, a best all around setup and a pro level setup if you want to get crazy. And so it all comes down to this. Three things that you need to know, and I would write this down, is that before you ever shoot a video, ask yourself about the AVL. Ask yourself, what's the AVL? Even if all you have is your smartphone, you should still be asking about the AVL. Sean, what is the AVL? That's your audio, your video, and your lighting. So if I'm in this room right now, I'm actually probably not going to film myself this way because of all this light coming from the back window, right? It would be backlit. So I could just think about positioning myself in the room based on the lighting. If I was to go down to McCarran Airport here in Las Vegas, and many of you flew in uh, for this conference there, if I'm standing outside on the tarmac, that's not the best place to be recording my next video because the audio is really loud, right? So even if you don't have any special equipment, before you ever press record, you want to just say, okay, how's the audio? How's the video? And how is the lighting? So let's talk quick about our smartphone kit. The cool thing about getting started with video is this is really all you need. It's absolutely all you need to get started. All of our smartphones shoot HD video, right? 4K video oftentimes. And so that's already decided. That's a checked off if you've got one of these. However, I read this article recently about why audio is actually more important than video image quality. Audio is actually oftentimes more important than video. Huge mistake I see people make. They got some crispy DSLR, they're shooting their videos, and then you watch, it's a Facebook ad, it's some kind of a video, and you can hear the echo in the room. They've got a DSLR, it has a microphone jack, but it's like, you can tell it's just the on-camera mic, it sounds horrible. They're too far away from the camera. Worry more about your audio, because people will actually tolerate low video quality, but if it's kind of like like a weird, tinny, echoey type of audio vibe, they will skip right past it. And so I really recommend that with your smartphone, you pick up a couple accessories and things like, um, like a little plug-in lavalier mic or a plug-in mic for your, uh, your phone, and then maybe like a, a tripod kind of thing like this. And this is one of my favorite mics, and I'll plug it in just a second and show you. But uh, I recently shot a Facebook ad, and so I want to play this video really quick, and then um, we'll talk about the setup. Hey, Sean Cannell here, author of YouTube Secrets, and I just created a brand new free guide called the Viral YouTube Blueprint Checklist. And in it, I revealed the latest growth strategies that are working on YouTube right now, how to get massive views on your YouTube videos, and how to turn those views into income. So just click the link in this post to download it. I wanna get your feedback on it, so that's why we're giving it away free for a limited time. So click the link in this post to grab it free, and I know you're gonna love it. Just click the Link and I'll send it to you uh, on the other side. And so that exact video was shot on this setup right here. Another cool kind of accessory uh, that I like to use, this is a little clip-on light uh, from Archon. Kind of cool, right? So it actually goes on, it goes in your mic, and so if you want to travel, this thing's about 20 bucks on Amazon. And now you could, especially if you get into the dingier areas of this hotel, you get into different places in this hotel, this would solve your problems. You've got your light, you've got your crispy audio, you've got a setup that can really make sure that your AVL is strong, right? Uh, the second one is a live streaming kit, a live streaming kit. And I think this is so important because we now have the power. Who here does any kind of live streaming on like Facebook Live, yeah? And uh, maybe you do like Google Hangouts. Anybody here do webinars? Do you do webinars? A few of you. So all of these things are like live streaming. And a lot of us go just live from our phones. By the way, this phone would be ready to go vertical live streaming on Instagram. You could go horizontal and, uh, and do a widescreen Facebook Live right off your phone. Super great crispy setup. Um, but for a live streaming kit, I think it's also really powerful to have like a desktop setup, a desktop setup. And so really you need a webcam and you need a USB mic, and that's all you need, and, and there's a different ones. But this video right here was just shot with a $50 Logitech webcam and just a USB mic that was plugged in right there, just in my uh, home, just about 30 minutes from here, and it's pretty crazy. It's got 210,000 views. So some simple equipment, it's really never the technology that's the hindrance, although it is important because people need to be able to see you, video, they need to be able to, and lighting, they need to be able to hear you, audio, A, V, L. 
And so uh, as we kind of have progressed, this is now the uh, setup and a place I like to work for uh, from. And if you want to be pumping out content, right, a ton of content, I think there's something I really intentionally wanted to build a place that was plug and play. And over the last couple of years, our business has exploded. And one of the reasons it has is because I was, I've been able to go down two monitors. Very important. Why? Because on the one monitor, I can actually share my screen and I teach from it. On the other monitor, I have my dashboard. I see what's happening. I see what's about to come up on uh, PowerPoint or whatever. Light right above the computer. You can see my webcam and some other things there. But if you want to be serious about video, you want to create smart systems. Smart systems. If you have to always set up and tear down, you might have to do that for a while. You might have limited space. But right here, I mean, who wants this command center? We're going to be giving it away at the end of... I'm just kidding, actually. We're not, actually. But I was just curious if you want it. I was just curious. But... Uh, but yeah, so I'm able, and, and, and Heather would tell you, right, we, we do Zoom meetings from here. Like, this is like NASA ground control. Like, we just sit down and just crush content, and uh, it's very, very powerful. Hey, just wanted to jump right into the middle of the video and actually show you the results of this live streaming setup. If you've ever watched a stream on Think Media, this is what I'm using all week, every week. And so let me know what you think about the quality in the comment section below. And if you're getting value out of this video, can you smash the like button? All right, let's jump back into it. So like I mentioned, kit.com forward slash Sean Cannell, I have videos and lists of all the various kits that we use. And so you could check that out and that'll be also in your Grow With Video Live portal. But now let's talk about the best all around video kit. If I'm you and you're like, Sean, I wanna create video, I want it better than a smartphone, what camera do I buy? There's no debate in my mind, it's the Canon M50. For right now, as far as your price, your value, uh, the impact of it, and this would be the main setup that um, I would use the most. Whether you put this on a tripod, sit a ways away from it and shoot some video content, whether you shoot some announcements, news style for your organization, whatever you um, want, this would be the setup. And if I only had $1,000 to invest, and which is a lot, right? But that's still like if I would add $1,000 to invest in everything, this is what I would do. I'd grab the Canon M50. I'd grab a little plug-in mic. It's a, it'd go right in the mic jack in the side. You could connect it to your jacket, your shirt, just a lavalier mic. I'd grab a mic that goes on top for $26. You can screenshot this in a second. Um, I'd grab a cheap tripod, $32, Fulvatec lighting, $100. That's two softbox lighting kits. Get your SD card, grab a two pack of batteries. They say don't get the aftermarket batteries, but I've tested them and they worked fine. My camera did not turn on, uh, catch on fire, so you're good. And that's $911 total to get a setup that I believe would be uh, everything 99% of us need for creating solid content. And I do think it's important at some level to level up your gear. To, to think about your quality and to think about um, uh, content uh, cameras and gear like this. And so here's an example of what that setup can produce. Hey, Sean Cannell here, author of YouTube Secrets, and I wanted to let you know that registration for Video Ranking Academy 2.0 is now open. And in addition to the over 45 videos of training that you get inside of this program that will help you create videos that get massive views All right, and perfect, then turn perfect. those videos guys. into... So right there, this camera was just sitting on my desk, just like this, and I'm sitting in front of a window. That's the power of sitting in front of a, a window, so if you just want really nice natural lighting, just, just have your camera backed against the window and shoot this way. It avoids you from being backlit, all the rest of the light fall off in the room there. Really nice, you have a flip screen so you can see yourself, and you could just touch the screen to make sure it's focused, and uh, then a microphone on top that makes it sound that crispy, so again, it, that's very pro HD, great looking, I believe, video setup for 900 bucks. And if you already had a few accessories, you'd be good to go. So that's why I really believe this is one of the best all around setups. Now, if you're like, but I want the best stuff, man. I want the pro setup. We call it the Omar uh, because Omar El Takori on our team um, is, is the B. Omar, do you want to roll up here? Just hang out with me with your, your gear. You could just... The, uh, this is the Omar, and um, actually we'll check out a, an example of the quality of the Omar. Here we go. 
Welcome to video number three in our viral YouTube blueprint series. You know, it's been so awesome getting to see your comments, your feedback, and the questions on video one and two. And I really believe that this video is gonna have aha moments just like the first two videos did, and we're gonna dive into the content in just a second. But to recap, in video one, if you remember, okay, we covered great, that YouTube is so, uh, and these are not even our YouTube videos, they're just kind of some other videos we would shoot internally in our business. But some of like the, the color, is the color not amazing? So he actually kind of like shoots in like a flat color and then he does a bunch of ninja stuff and color grading. Um, there is, you can see a little bit of like a, a thing on my sweatshirt, this exact mic, it's a wireless AVX mic, is um, taped to the inside of my shirt with a piece of gaff tape. And it's, uh, it's wireless and then um, handheld. I don't know what else is happening there. I don't think you have a mic, right? So, oh, here we go. And so uh, what, what, what's happening in this shot, Omar? I mean, it's very simple in regards to like this is just on a regular tripod, um, but we use compressed lenses or what you would call a prime lens. Uh, that's also another route you can go to get that blurry background people are always looking for. It's, the keyword is prime lens. But the thing is, is you would want to be further away from your from your person or yourself, and that's what's cool about that wireless kit that he has. It's the Sennheiser AVX um, lapel kit. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and so uh, we we love it too because um, I would say, especially ladies, you care about how you look on camera, right? Always. Always. Uh, and so you know, sometimes uh, the the wider your lens, typically, kind of like the less flattering it is. It'll kind of stretch you. It'll kind of whatever. And so you actually, if you that that's like that almost looks like really me. Doesn't the dimensions almost look like the human eye? What do you remember? What focal length that was? 55 millimeter lens. That's why it's a wireless mic because he's pretty. Omar's pretty far back and like really far back to get that shot, but it overall creates that vibe. It's called compression. And so if you want to look, you know, kind of sharper on camera, you might want the camera further away from you with a longer focal length. Again, it's that fisheye, you get that fisheye lens, it's right here and you're like, why? You know, you're, you're a fish, you know? So uh, just a couple of thoughts there for the pro setup. But here's the thing, thank you so much, Omar. Uh, the thing with that is he's holding the camera as you head off, you could say he's got it in his hands right now. I believe this is actually for pros, probably one of the best values right now, the Sony a7 III. It can come with, um, it's a mirrorless camera. Uh, it's nice and small. It's a full frame sensor, incredible photos. My Instagram, if you're, is anyone's ever like, man, your Instagram is pretty good. I can't take any credit for that. I'm just so glad that I know Omar. And, uh, and because of his, his skills with the camera, because that's a full frame camera, this is what leads to a lot of those good photos and things like that. But here's the thing with this setup. We use you know, maybe like a $300 light kit or even more expensive ones. You'd buy like an extra lens for $800. This microphone, $700. Four grand, you're just getting started. You're just getting started to get in that pro setup. So my point is that 99% of you do not need to worry about that. I think that some of us just, we kind of overkill. We think that like that is gonna be the thing that moves the needle. We think that if I get that next camera, I get that next piece of gear. If you are in this room and you're like, well, that matters to me, then, you sh then it already matters to you. And you don't even need me to tell you, right? Because you're a filmmaker, you're a hipster, you're doing slow motion. Oh, you're so cool with your color grading, your flat log and all that other stuff. You're already doing that, that's cool. But for most of us entrepreneurs, leaders, you just want something that's simple, right? Easy to use, looks good, and can produce great content. And that's why I would really say that you do this M50 setup, whether it's for vlogging, you put this on a tripod, plug in that $20 mic, you could create all your content just with this. All right, hey, I hope that you got value out of that video. And if you did, can you smash the like button? And if you wanna check out each of the four different kits for every budget that I broke down in this video, we'll list those in the description below on kit.com, whether accessories for your smartphone or the various kits we put together, just check those out in the YouTube description. Question of the day, what camera are you shooting with right now? And are you thinking about upgrading your camera setup this year? What brand are you looking at? Let me know in the comment section below.